this is your video for Monday, August 30th. I'm going to walk you through the little lab activity you're going to do today. First off, if you've not gone and done your Latin roots for today, you need to pause this video and go do that now. So every day this week, you'll need to get those Latin roots because there will be another Latin root quiz on Friday. So um, hopefully you've done your Latin roots and now you're back and you've done your Latin roots. And so you'll notice on Classroom, there is a um, activity called the Penny Lab and that is what we're going to be doing today. So I kind of wanted to walk you through what you're going to need to do. Um, first off, look at that document and make your hypothesis about how many drops you think you're going to be able to get on the head of a penny, how many drops of water, okay? And then you're going to come up to the front and you're going to get either a beaker or I have a few plastic cups and you're going to get water in it, about half full of water out of the sink. Remember, this is a high pressure sink, okay? If you use the cups, please return them. Don't throw them away. We're going to use them all day. <clears throat> You're also going to need this, which you should know by now is a pipette. Okay? So you're going to need a pipette, and you're going to need a penny out of this bag. And so you'll, and you'll also get a paper towel. So back at your desk, you should have a paper towel, a beaker with water, a pipette, and a penny. Okay? And what you're going to do, you're going to see how many drops of water you can get on your penny. Sounds pretty simple. So, here's, I'm going to kind of move the camera, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So, here is our beaker, here is my penny, um, and here's my pipette. You're going to squeeze the bulb of the pipette, put it down in the water, release the bulb that's going to fill your pipette with water. And then you're going to begin to drop drops of water onto your penny, okay? Um, as many as you can. So here I go. Good one. Okay, mine began to run off at like 26. That is not a very good number, <laughs> okay? Um, you can do a couple trials before you actually start writing your numbers down. Make sure that your uh, pipette is clean because these have been used for other labs, so if, if they look soapy, you need to rinse it out or get a different one. Uh, make sure your penny is clean, that it's not soapy, okay? Um, and you'll see on your lab, you're going to do this at least seven times, okay? I beat my last one. I'm at 40. It's 60. Yeah, see if you can beat me. Oh, 61 on this one. Not great. Not my best. Okay. Um, so, you're going to do this seven times. You're going to go ahead and figure out your average. Then you're going to do a silent, sustained writing about what you think is going on. So, we are starting a new unit, all about water. Um, and part of what you're answering after you do the lab is what causes it to stick to itself? Or what's happening? How is it sticking to the penny? Um, why so many? You might notice, like, as you do it, if you look at it from the side, it's going to look really cool, okay? Um, you can even snap a picture of it if you'd like. So you're going to do the lab. You're going to answer the questions. I don't think this will take you the entire hour. If you have work from last week that you haven't finished for me, you can go back and work on that as well. Um, I've been grading, so you should be seeing, like, if things are missing, that means I don't have it from you and I haven't been able to get a grade for you. So let's make sure that we're caught up. If you have questions for me, please email me. Um, if there's something that you need help with, um, we can also um, do a Google Meet. So please reach out if you're struggling. This is kind of, we're starting a brand new unit. So um, enjoy the water lab. Make sure that you clean up your table when you're done. Uh, no water anywhere. Bring all your supplies to the front of the room when you're finished. Um, and bring my pennies back, okay? And I hope to see you soon.